Okay, now we're in here, we can um, just build our Docker application, the the database. Uh, I think what you have to do is just like, I'll, I'll do as you do just in case it refuses MVN wrapper. And then um, I'm going to say package it. And um, I want a profile I want is... Um, Do I want to package my application? No, um, we just want a Docker Compose thing. And obviously, you need to have Docker Compose installed in 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 here. So, Docker Compose file, and we want to. I want to start one of the files called under source. Uh, where am I? I don't know. I did forward slash main domain Docker. And I'm gonna say my SQL file, and I'm gonna start it up, and I'll say just run it in the background. So what it'll do is, I, because I have already Docker Compose installed. If you can don't have don't have Docker Compose installed, you can install it separately. What it will do is, it'll just download this Docker image from Docker Hub, and then I'm gonna run it. So that so it's creating, and then because I've already downloaded it locally to my computer. All it did was it just started. So if we do Docker um, PS um, in here, we know that it is running. This application, my SQL database, is is running in in there. I can see that. So um, what we need, we now 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 we know that my SQL is running. The next thing I need to do is um, I need to run my application and say I want it to build the react application so now we have a target um, CD target I'm not sure if it had if it has built so there's a WW folder in there CD WW um, this is where I said target is where the binary code for deploying where the user will interact with is put for Java as well as um, um, react so I'm gonna check what's happening with this folder um, CD now there is nothing in there so I'm hoping if I run the yawn start um, all this stuff will be put in there um, unless I misunderstood how it works um, basically so um, let me just quickly um, run this and I'm gonna say now in here um, yawn actually let me clear so that we don't have this here. Um, clear okay um, and then I'm gonna say yawn um, start It's good. Uh, so as you can see, the yawn start is running, but obviously I don't think it will allow us to log in or um, do anything with us because the application, the Java application, is not running. Its dependencies is not being even downloaded. It's not being even compiled. Now this separately run the React side of it. So React side of it. Um, the code will be run ready and it will be deployed, but it will just uh, come try to go to the connect to the server and it will say, mm, "Your REST APIs are not ready to return the data I want to display." Same. So um, and it's running on another different a different port anyway right now. So we just um, do it. Uh, we'll do it now. Um, we'll run the Maven. So now we could use wrap ma uh, Maven wrapper locally, which is M. V N wrapper D W this wrapper stands for, and if it's development, we just run that, and then it will now go to the pom XML file. It will see if it needs to download any um, dependencies from there to my computer, um, and then it will do all of those ones, and then after that, it will run the application as well. So it did the dependency downloading. Um, dependence the compiling as you can see it has compiled all of these um, classes into um, the target folder that I was talking about where the tests are compiled into there the other files are also um, 
classes, the non weather classes, the application classes are compiled into there. Um, so now it's ready. So what I'm going to do is, I think now I need another, this is the time I need another. Um, so let's quickly test um, if it is running. Um, So it when we did Yoni start, it gave us this um, browser sync URL, um, a port which is at 900, uh, 9000. We want 880. Uh, as you can see in here, it's telling us you want 80, 80. Uh, actually, it's the other tab, but in 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 here, it's saying this is the address. If you have Mac, you can just right, command click it if you want. But if you, I normally um, try to load it separately on here. Uh, let's see what it gives us and um, admin admin in there and then I'm gonna sign in it might refuse it might sub accepted it now it's working um, uh, we don't have entities in here we don't we can see a lot this is the beauty about it like look how much information you have you can just um, modify how you want one of the beautiful things about thing about like things APIs you can see here it's integrated with Swagger and you can see um, the you know the your API the account APIs you can use posts it even creates for you curls um, in here like if I want to try for example something get like a user um, ID um, it, it gives you the JSON code. Obviously, if you have used Swagger, nothing's different from from um, here. This is a Swagger feature, but integration with it um, allows us to give us this number of um, features. So many other stuff like um, user management um, in here. I can create new users. I can delete. I can activate it um, in here. And emails also set up is in. It's configured in there because of this health. It normal Spring Boot stuff in 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 there. I'm gonna move on now um, to test this. So the other thing it's done is now if I just to check our Docker DB, um, how do I do it? Okay, so I think it's Docker um, exec um, interactive IT, and then I need um, the Docker thing, isn't it? I need the the code for I'm gonna do Docker PS now. I'm just I need to double check if this the my SQL stuff was um sorry. Uh let me clear this. Um Docker PS if my SQL stuff were so I need this container ID to run um my SQL. I'll do Docker um execute I'll, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to SSH or basically log into the Docker um container in here that I have pasted it is ID in there interactively basically um, and I'm gonna say this is it is code thing but I want it to, to use bash um, and in there this will just take us we, we can also directly um, do another pipeline and then go to my SQL in there directly but this will take us to, to the server to which has my SQL installed in it um, so you can say user root um, it doesn't have a password I'm assuming so we can say show um, databases um, because if we had a password if we configured that if we found out the way to configure the password in here um, when the docker um, it was that's the environment the, the places where we set up the, the password and the scripts were in there so um, I'm gonna say show databases uh, Actually, I mistyped the database. Show databases, and now I can see a lot of databases. It's created a, a database called LulPos, as you can see in there. Um, and who created the database? Look, who created the database? Who inserted the data in it? Okay, I'm doing CD in a database. Good. So what I need is to use um, uh, LulPos. Who created the database? We've just, you know, started downloaded a new um, Docker container to our computer, uh, Docker image. Um, started a new container of it, and it, when it was running, JHipster application was able, even though it was not running as another um, 
application uh, it was running the, the, as a development it's been able to find that docker by the url of the ms sql and and then in communicated with it and inserted all this stuff and it the way to it did that while it was running using liquid base um to make sure that oh, liquid would realize that oh there is a docker database i've connected to it doesn't have the um um the schema it doesn't have the data it doesn't have all that kind of stuff i need to update it okay i need to use this as my database basically it's using so um if i so show tables um i'll show us all the tables in there like the users that we've seen in there um select all from user um u j h i think j hipster i is it j hipster i user um i can see it in in there very beautifully if we want to do the um the other way of telling if you do forward slash g or i think backwards slash g one of them will give us another view of yeah this way it'll give us a well done um, way of doing database so you can see these users and up to here we have up to user four and now what we could do is um from here we can test that is this the real database that we're using we can add a new user um so we create a new user and we say login is oh, my email actually you can even use that i'm gonna use it ahmed uh oh maybe uh Ahmed and first name is Ahmed, last name is Dini, and email is um, Ahmed Dini at Lul Solutions .com. Um, and it's activated the language they all use in English. Uh, I would have an admin or user roles here. You can select. I'm gonna give it to a user role. Um, beautiful. So now that we have created here, we can see that we've added the database. I've manually activated it because if I wanted to um, automatically, otherwise they, uh, you know, we'll get an email sent and that kind of stuff, and which we don't have it um, basically in in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go back to the um, to here, and I'm going to say, okay, um, now so I ran the same SQL query, and it will give us now five. Ah, but it's here. With all that kind of stuff, and this is our Docker database. Remember, we have already shut down my local running database. So that is also a beautiful is we can also build um, very easily um, a, a Docker application and run it separately um, on on Docker in here. Um, but the thing, another good thing about it is like Elasticsearch as well. It didn't. Um, our application previously used to break at one time. I remember where if you don't have Elasticsearch running, but it's just now. It, they can't find it it's not a problem because even when you're creating um if you have the look 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 so let's exit here i'm not gonna need um and i'm now i've exited the database in, inside docker and now exit the docker itself and, and go back to my computer now on my computer just to make sure that we're um using um this actually so uh we're in low pause isn't it so the other thing i need to do now with no application is running it's running from local computer and i have discussed um how to run uh from there so what else do i need actually the other thing is i just need to check um the this users uh actually how do i set this user should have been emailed isn't it so how do I do it? How do I do it? I don't know. What I'm trying to do is um go to user management administration. Where's the user management? I'm already here. Can't remember how I did it, but anyway, um, that is um, that's basically um, a J hipster application for you running. And what we'll do next is this is the common stuff that we already have is running for us and the front end. What we're gonna do next is I'm gonna talk about the front end side of it, uh, of it um, as well as the back end. I'll come back to the back end for some other time because um, if you have a look at 
in, in Eclipse in here, you will see that all it's a normal Java application with all the APIs and all that kind of stuff. Our um, React application is on the web app here. Um, in here and you can see I've shown you before in, in there if you just check entities um, this is where if, if we create a new entity so it will be um, shared but there's a lot of other stuff that, like shared stuff like layouts footers all that kind of stuff you can find it in here application entry file so in the next video I'm gonna talk about um, mainly the front end and also one other thing I'd like to talk about is a testing its um, sure itself basically so because we have um, here two folders as you can see um, two structures if you just look at our project um, when I did the uh, in in here maybe let's yeah let's maybe open it in here okay uh, no it wasn't that one Where do I go? What am I doing? Let's open this one. So, if you have a look at the source under the source, there's two parts. There's the tests and the main. Uh, and for testers, for someone who's doing the testing, in here also the tests, all the tests that we have had, like JavaScript tests are here. Um, end to end test specs which are used by Jest um, applications and all that kind of stuff. In, in here, every test we've added in here, Gatling is here as well, it is configuration. Um, and this one is the, the features stuff in here, resources. So the Java one, which uses a Spring's um, um, test basically has also it is also in here you can um, use cucumber to test with it you can do a lot of stuff in here so one of the things that you need to have a look at and keep an eye in that if you want to um, basically see um, J hipster tests basically um, if you look at that you'll be see all this stuff like J all these things we've talked about like um, Gatling um, for J hipster it uses for performance testing for for behavior driven testing we uses cucumber um, protector uh, uh, um, protractor it uses them um, for react and angular um, integration tests um, for example for the UI side of it um, it also uses just um, for UI testing um, and also spring um, test context framework for the Java integration testing that it has in, in here. So all these things I explained it down in, in here, what tests to use and also the links um, to that and how to test it with that and what commands um, to run. For example, if you want to run Protrator, you run this um, NPM, run E2, um, if you want to run um, normal chest test, you just to run NPM test inside um, the folder and the it talks about the information where you find the test information for the chest um, the, um, configurations and in there if you go to the link you'll find out how it it it, it is um, it works basically behavior driven tests as well as which uses gherkin for um, um, features as um, or, or DSL reading all that kind of stuff there's a gatling here uh, stuff that you can also test with and it shows you all the information that it needs so i'm going to end this video here and hopefully um if i get some time uh, next week i'm going to record um the um the front end stuff and talk about more about um um you know the uh the how to build uh how, how the, the front end application works basically